everybody. I don't know who needs to hear this. I don't. But somebody out there needs to hear this. For me, I've been meditating a lot on about on a lot of different things, right? I mean, I think it goes without surprise that there is a lot going on in the world around us, right? There's a lot going on that has been happening in 2020, right? Whether we're talking about the pandemic, we're talking about, you know, economic stress, geopolitical stress, stress from our families, stress from the election, all these different things that are happening, right? And I know a lot of people, especially in the preparedness community, right? A lot of people in these, in these, a lot of these influencers are just, they are selling you fear porn and they are shoving fear porn down your throat quicker, quicker than, than you can handle it, quicker than you can even understand what's going on, right? You know, one day people are saying there's going to be an EMP attack. Next day they're saying it's a cyber attack. Next day they're saying that the truckers are going to strike and then they're going back to food shortages. I, I get it. It is a lot to deal with. But for me, and excuse the background noise, for me, I take solace in Philippians 4, 6 through 9. Okay, this is something that I've been meditating on. And for me, this is, this is, why are we here on earth? This is the purpose for life. This is why we are on this earth. And regardless if you're, if you're, if you believe in God or not, if you believe the Bible is right or wrong, um, that's irrelevant. Because I think that this, this passage is 100% universal, no matter what. I, I don't care what religion you abide by or what ideology you have. Literally, this is the tell all for what it is to be a human in the world. Okay. And so I'm going to read it for you, okay? Philippians 4, 6 through 9. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by power and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice. And the God of peace will be with you. I mean, I can't think of a more I can't think of a more awesome verse. And a lot of times when this when this passage is given, they only give you Philippians 4, 6. So pretty much they say, Don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer petition and thanksgiving, give your request to God. Right? So pray about everything. Don't worry. Don't be anxious. Pray, and that's what they usually leave it at. But if you look, if you look at the following, the following passage, it gives you a template of what you need to do. This is the perfect instruction. This is the perfect answer, step by step, what you need to do. It couldn't be more simple. There are things that you can't control, and that's fine. Don't control them. Give it to God. Tell God, I know I can't control this. This is what's going on in my life. This is my situation. I give it to you. And then you focus on things that are noble, praiseworthy, just, pure, right. The things that bring you happiness, right? The pure things in life. Focus on that. Think about that. Whenever those ideas and thoughts come to your mind, focus on the good. And then, last thing, do the things. Put the things that you know you should put in practice. Actually do them. Actually put them into practice. Do the things you know you need to do, right? And as, as a believer, as a believer in the Most High, um, it's, it's pretty simple, you know? Luke 22, 36. Matthew 25, 1 through 13. Mark 13, 33 to 37. Luke 12, 35 to 38. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Colossians 4, 2. Proverbs 27, 12. Proverbs 6, 1 through 11. Proverbs 30, 24 to 28, 1 Peter 3, 15, Matthew 28, 19 through 20. There are so many things that, and we can list off scripture all day, but I know what I need to do. This is what I need to do. Do the things. Be sustainable. Grow my food. Put forth my best effort in life. Take care of my family. Not be dependent on the system. Not being dependent on man. It's very simple. 
It's very simple. And I truly have a piece. I do. And I'm very happy for it because I know what I got to do. And this is what I got to do. There's no, I have no, I have, there's no reason for me to be worried. There's no reason for me to get hyper focused on the things I can't control because my purpose in life is very clear. What I need to do is very clear. It's simple. And I'm not going to make excuses for why I can't do it or shouldn't do it. I know what's right. I know what's noble. You know, I know the things that I should be doing. So simply do them. And that's what's, guess what's great about Because so many times people want to use <coughs> anything, whether it's scripture or it's the shortcomings of other people and say, well, at least I'm better than that person. Or I can't do it because of this. Or I can't do something because of that. Sure. But you're never going to, you're not going to, you're not going to have peace. You're not going to be happy. Because it's not just enough to throw your hands up and say, I quit. That's not going to do anything. You have to meditate on the good, and you actually have to put into practice things that you should be doing. And so I highly encourage you guys. Um, and like I said, whether you're saved or not, whether you believe in the Bible or not, I think that's irrelevant. I think a universal truth is there are things in life that you can control. As a man, as a woman, as a child, as a person in this world, there are things you can't control. Plain and simple, there are things you cannot control. So what do you do about that? Do you let that eat, eat at you until you're just a blobbering mess of unsustainability, no action? I mean, that's one way to look at it, I guess, right? So what are you going to do? Are you going to let that fear and you're going to let those, those shortcomings take over your life? Or are you going to do the template that's here for success? And like I said, whether you believe in God or not, or you believe in the Bible or not, I don't see how it's unhelpful to say, you know what? <clears throat> There are things I can't control, so I'm not going to control them. I'm going to give them up as far as I'm not going to worry about them. I'm going to focus on the things that are noble, that are pure, that are right, that are good, that are of grace, right? I, I think that's that's easy. That's easy to do. Nature is a great example. Your family is a great example. When you see love, that's a great example. When you do good to your fellow man, that's a great example. So focus on those things. And then do the things you know you should be doing anyway. We all know what we should be doing, what we shouldn't be doing. So it's pretty simple, guys. Whether you believe in God or not, whether you believe in the Bible or not, this is why man is on earth. So I don't know, like I said, I don't know who needs to hear this, but somebody somebody out there needs to hear this. And if it just reaches that one person, good. I'm glad that, I'm glad that you got it. But this has been life-changing for me. This verse has changed my life, literally. And so... You know, why not share it? Like I said, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what your struggle is. But no, there's there's an answer. There's an answer for you. And it's right there. I'll leave a link to this verse and the other verses that I mentioned in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, I don't know who needs to hear this, but um, peace be with you. And you're going to be fine. We're going to get through this. Well, that's all I have for you guys, as always. Long live the Republic.